We were somewhat overwhelmed just because we haven't been there in 30 something years. So, a lot of the guys on our team and support staff didn't know how to handle it. Um, so, I think we're just that much more acclimated this year with, the, with our staff, with our players. Um, just being there two years in a row, we kind of know what, know what to handle, what to, what's going to, we're going to go through. Um, so, we're just that much more comfortable. Uh, and I'm sure we'll definitely be soaking in everything, but also be ready for the game, uh, be very business like. That's how I think we did a very good job against Ohio State, finding that balance, uh, enjoying the bowl game, but also you better get in there and watch film, uh, getting up early before before meetings to have a meeting. Uh, I think the leadership on, on our team um, did a great job of got, got, getting guys up um, before media day, going to watch film, because uh, it's that much more difficult with bowl games because there's so much stuff that goes along with it, finding times to go to work, you got to stay to your roots, um, and do the things that, that got you there in the first place. Um, so it's a little easier in games like this because there's not that many activities that you got to go through. Um, so I'm sure our guys will obviously find some time to sit back and enjoy the moment. But also, I mean, we're, we're there for a reason. Uh, we're there for the national championship, and we're going to embrace that opportunity and make sure we're we're working every day. Um, so we're just that much more comfortable this year than we were last year. With uh, Coach Kiffin now being off the sidelines. Uh, and Sarkeesian taking over the play calling. Have you guys talked about that at all? The coaches mentioned it, or what does that do to change a voice like that? We asked, we asked Coach V, and I don't, he gave us about a three second answer, so I don't think it really affects us. It might affect him a little bit, but he's not going to let it get, get to our heads. Um, so we're not sweating it. Uh, it's not really our problem to deal with. We kind of control what we have to control, um, and, and dealing with their coaching change is not it. Uh, so we're focused on us, focused on our game plan. Um, so that is what it is. How do you compare Hertz with Barry? Very similar. I think Hertz is a little more athletic. Um, a little, probably on the lighter side. I think he's probably 20 less pounds. Uh, I can throw. I can throw it better than uh, Barrett did. Um, I know where Jadaro was running his mouth a little last uh, last week, and we proved it that it wasn't the best. I mean, he's obviously a good quarterback. But he wasn't the best quarterback we faced, and we showed that in the game. Um, I definitely believe that Her I mean, Hertz has uh, made a lot more throws. He's a lot more of a consistent passer um, and more athletic. Um, so I, although he is a freshman, um, he doesn't play like a freshman at all. Um, so we know that. We respect that. We respect the, what he brings to the table with, with all the other skilled guys they have on offense, um, the big boys they got up front. Um, so we're aware of everything that they do. Uh, we, res we respect all that he He's been a freshman all year. He hadn't played like it. As he won, won all the more awards in the SEC. Uh, so I think he's a better passer. Uh, he's a lot more athletic. Um, I don't know if he'll be able to take uh, as much of a bruising as, as Barrett could with him being about 230. Um, so hopefully we're, we're wanting to get some pressure on him, get some hits on him, because uh, he's not near as big as Barrett, but he's a playmaker. So we're ready for it.